sixth grade social studies here at Colbert. And um, I use the iTouch in many ways for mostly projects in my class. Um, and I teach South America and Europe as a curriculum, and a lot of my students don't know a whole lot, especially about South America, so I do a new project um, helping them to introduce them to South America using the World Wiki Plus app. Um, this app basically takes the CIA fact book, which has demographic information on every country in the world, and puts it in a very user-friendly format for your iTouch. Um, last year when I did this project, I took them to the computer labs, and they had to go to the CIA fact book website, and it took three days for them to pour through the not-so-user-friendly um, interface there um, to find the same information. So you've got the government, the area, population, GDP. Um, this book up here gives you some more information about the geography, they can find the climate of this area. Um, and I did it this year in one class period instead of three. Um, so it was great um, then they could take that information, create their graphs, which they've done, and now we can have some um, meaningful conversations about these in class so that they have kind of a better idea of what South America is like in general. So when we actually get into the history, they already know, well, they speak Spanish, why is that? And they already know those kinds of basic information. Um, so our conversations in class become more meaningful. Um, another um, project that I've done, this time with Europe, it's a little harder to grasp information on 45 countries. Um, so for that one, I have them plan a mock vacation to a country of their choice in Europe. Um, so they like using the iTravel app, um, where they can then actually plan a round trip, put in their locations, and get at least a, I have them get at least the cost of the flights and the hotels to those different um, locations. And this is, of course, an app that all of us could use if we're planning a real vacation to Europe. Uh, but once they get the total price of their vacation, they then use my currency app, which they can then input in here, so if they say, oh, the total price of my vacation um, is going to be $3,000 for my flight and my hotel for a week, all right, click done, and then they can figure out what it's going to be in euros, if they're going to a country there, or if they're going to England, they've got British pounds, um, and you can edit it, you can even get currencies for other places all over the world um, and search for others, um, and use it in the are on there every time. Um, they also, I have them use the translator app um, to get some common phrases that they'll need, such as, where is the bathroom? So if they're going to Italy and they need to ask that question, right, they can type it in, hit translate, and they can see exactly what it is, and they include that on their little brochure that I have them create um, with all the details for their trip. Um, and they like coming up with different random phrases that they can translate into their various languages. Um, then, once they get there, I have them use the World Guide app, and this gives them also some demographic information similar to the World Wiki Plus, but what this one has that the World Wiki Plus does not have is at the bottom here, it has some um, interesting places that they should visit. Places button here has the different places, like tourist attractions that they should go to. Um, the tips one, this gives you information about um, you know, etiquette in that country, you know, don't look people in the eye, or they shake hands this way, kiss on the cheeks, things like that. Um, it also talks about when to visit, tipping procedures, and the typical foods that they would find in that part of the country, so they can also get some cultural information about the country before they go on their long vacation. Um, so they really like it because they see it as more of a real world application. Um, that they could actually do in, in real life, right? And uh, I had a couple students last year actually take their information home to their parents and like, look, I find every picture next year. So the kids really got a, a, a good amount of information about that country. Um, and then some of them wanted to even kind of go to a different country too. And, and so some of them even went to several different places finding the currency exchanges and all of that. Um, so they got a lot of wealth of information about Europe um, by doing that project.